Well on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Baldy Reefer, coming at you with today's video, which is my four stage compact RODI water system. So, let's get to it. regards to RODI, there are certain different varieties uh, of this system that you can get. You can get sort of powered varieties, uh, which just reduces down your waste water, um, and then there, there are unpowered versions, which this here is an unpowered one. Uh, so this one is by uh, Ryair, uh, that I got this from, from Amazon, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, feel free to go check that out uh, for different sort of prices, different specs, or like two stage, three stage, four stage, even up to six. Um, plus then your powered elements on top. But this one is a sort of four stage one. Uh, so in essence what happens is the water goes in, filters through the different membrane particles, spits out into the sort of keep bin, if you like, the pure, well, almost 100% pure uh, RODI water. Uh, and then I'll have the waste valve going off into the sort of sink disposal, which again, I'll show you the video, I'll show you that later on in the video, how we get that set up. Uh, but first off, I just wanted to show you the sort of complete unboxing. All I've literally done at the moment is literally sort of unbutton the top piece. Um, to save me switching the camera around, I'll keep it in this view for the time being, then when we are actually going ahead and setting it all up, I will sort of switch the camera around so you can get a bit more of a sort of face up um, camera shot of it. So first off we've got 600ml uh, of DI resin, I don't think we're going to use all of this because there is an awful lot here in this bag, um, but again with this it does sort of change colour as well uh, when it has spent. Um, so again, gives you a great indication that your, your water's not sort of 100% accurate. Um, but what I have also got as well, bear with me, is this that you may have seen in one of my other videos, which is the Hickens uh, TDS meter. So TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. So what you do is you dip that part there in the water and it will come up on the screen just there you've got sort of temperature uh, in either Celsius or Fahrenheit uh, and it will also let you know the sort of TDS, obviously we want as close to zero as we can possibly get um, with our ODI systems because then we know there are no sort of trace elements in our water or anything like that. So yeah, so DI resin, second thing at the bag was this big old Allen key if you like. Uh, it is going to be used to sort of crack off the, uh, the top of the caps on here, which again I'll show you that uh, in a little bit later on. Next up, the bag, two foam pads. And the oh, everything. easy fit sort of tap connectors, which is great for me because in the other side of the fish room, um, I have got these sort of screw ons uh, built onto the taps, which is superb. Uh, it has got the sort of uh, the hose clip ons as well, just on there. It wants to focus. What's here? So it has got that one. Uh, and this is the beast itself. Uh, so it's pretty big, I'd probably say it's a good sort of 30 centimetres across by probably 35 to 40 height. Um, so again, let me get my bearings, so I'd probably say the water is sort of going to enter through the bottom one of these. It's going to come up over, it's going to come down through here, underneath the next one, uh, and then down through here. And this I'm, I'm assuming is where your resin is going to go. Now these two filter pads that I have taken out just, there are already two in here, which I'm assuming uh, are going to be spares. Um, let me pop that down there, this has got a sort of uh, well, like a hex key on the bottom of it, and again the tap connector to the other side, uh, so again I'm assuming this is probably going to fit by the size, it's somewhere like that, in there. Um, and then last but not least, and thank God, are the instructions. So yeah, my via full sort of stages through once uh, one to seven. Um, does it have any picture diagrams as well? Yes, yes it does. So
a little bit backwards, but this is actually your water input. This is your GAC carbon pre-filter down the bottom. This is your reverse osmosis membrane housing. And this one is your DI resin stage for polishing the water. Uh, and then number five, this is what I made earlier. This is your uh, membrane flush valves when you want to flush the system out and stuff like that. Uh, that's the picture. Four of you will have just sort of read off there with the instructions. Uh, but again, what I'm probably going to do now is switch the camera angle round uh, so you guys can sort of see the main focus on the table. Um, yeah, and we'll get to it and then we'll, we'll get it all set up and then we'll do the sort of TDS uh, reading in a few days' time uh, of the vat of water that we will collect. Uh, and then, yeah, we can get on with the, uh, with the reading videos afterwards. Okay, so the first stage is to disconnect the pipe that is connected to the middle of the screw cap of the reverse osmosis membrane housing unit which is this one here from the picture, which is number three. Uh, to do this, remove the blue circlet from the fitting, which is this tiny bit of there. Which is that. Uh, hold the white washer against the car, uh, against the uh, fitting, and then while holding it, pull with the other hand to pull the pipe out. That. To unscrew the lid from the RO membrane housing unit, which is what that's going to come in handy for. Ah, yeah, so it has got little teeth on, it will just sort of clip over the edge. Just try and get the best grip on this as I possibly go forward with the can. Remove the RO membrane, which is this, from its protective packaging. Lubricate the large black rubber seal that goes right around the membrane on one end, and then and then two small O rings on the end, and a small amount of silicone grease or petroleum jelly. But I don't have either of those, so we're going to go old school. I think it's only just so it gets in the actual hole. Then that just pushes down into there, I think. Yeah, that's a nice snug fit. Insert the membrane to the housing with two small seals, go to the bottom of the other using the place the inside with the enclosed spanner. Okay. So screw it back on, tighten with the spanner, again while trying to hold on the best way you possibly can, but that's not going anywhere, and do, 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 do not replace the pipe yet, so I was basically telling me not to put this one back on. Remove the white pipe that goes into the DIP resin stage, which is number four, I think, which is that one. Uh, remove the white pipe that goes into the DIP resin stage. Remove both blue leads from the end of housing. Uh, let me remove this one. That's not good. Okay, the next one is remove the next blue one. That's that out. So again, I need to push this flush and then collect the tubing. That's made it a little bit easier for us. Push that one in. Okay, put on the floor. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Remove 
both bullets uh, from the end of housing insert one foe inserts carefully. So I'm assuming Made on the bottom like so, uh, and fill with resin. Uh, so you're going to make this stuff. So I've got a funny feeling. There's mail everywhere. Oh! Mm. Aha! A bag within a bag. So, yeah, so this is like weird, sort of like uh, gelatin balls, if you like, but not quite gelatin. So, There's no smell to it, which is great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pause the video now and I'm going to come back to you when this tube is full because this looks like it can get pretty messy. So that is the resin tube now completely uh, full of the sort of green slash clear resin membrane. Uh, the next step um, is going to be to rinse through uh, of the hose connecting tab. He's telling me not to connect uh, the pipes back up to it yet, so I don't sort of block through uh, the membrane that's inside of here. Because as you can see, this one here is not actually sort of uh, connected up as of yet, so it should actually waste off through the top of this. Now, it is it is recommending to run it for sort of two to three minutes because it can run through a sort of grey slash brown at first, uh, which is just all the unspent carbon that's inside of here. Um, but yeah, so let me get to that now, uh, and then once that's sort of cleared through, I'll come back to you um, and show you the finished results. Right guys, so now it's all set up. <clears throat> so as you can see, the water's coming off the outside tap just there. Coming down the white tubing, into this bit here, coming down, coming up, coming down. Up into this one, and eventually it should 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 start dripping out this blue one here. So this red one here is the uh, the actual waste pipe itself. So the ratio of lost water to actual RO water should be around three to one. So as you can see now, that in essence is supposed to be sort of pure RO water coming out of there. The water coming out the bottom here, that is in essence your your waste water so that is the only sort of negative of, about these RO systems is that you do get a, a, lo a lot of waste water so let me just go grab a cup now um, and then what I'll do is I'll run the TDS test that I mentioned at the start of this video so we can uh, we can show you what the readings actually are I'm just gonna grab some of this water in here we only really need just enough to be able to get the TDS strip into it. Now once that bit's been done, and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna wrap the video up. Uh, I will show you um, some pictures on my Instagram page in a couple of days time. They'll be all linked, linked up properly and put on the wall, going into the sort of, uh, the big sort of RODI buckets that I've got. Um, and then yeah, I'll guide you through sort of how, how I do sort of manual water changes and why I operate for a manual water change sort of way as opposed to running a, um, everything off a sump based system. Um, but yeah, sort of, like I say, thanks for watching. Um, if this is something that you sort of like the look of, uh, please do feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, also follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram at the Baldwin Roof as well. But before I sign off officially, let's test this. So as you can see at the moment, it's on zero. Let me just drop that in the water there. At the moment, bearing in mind I rinse this out before I use it, there is only a tiny amount of water in there. We are running at two. So now you can see that. So 
So we just clear that again, and then we'll run it again. Yeah, so still, I mean, this one is showing up as three, but we're there or thereabouts in regards to sort of where we want to be. Like I said at the very start of the video, it's never going to be 100% with these systems. It is almost sort of 100%. Um, but yeah, so there we go. There is my sort of fast track way on how to set up an RODI system. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, thanks for watching. Balding Reefer, out.